I can't believe we're doing this again. I can't believe the Yes Network once again decided to not air this game. I can't believe Major League Baseball didn't have the balls to put this game on television. But, whatever. Baseball wants to keep doing stupid things. Let them do it. There were a few highlights in this game. There was actually a high-scoring game, but I'll give you the few highlights that I had, courtesy of Max T. Goodman on Twitter. So the Yankees started off by scoring two runs in the first, and that was after DJ LeMahieu got on base. Aaron Judge hit a 106-mile-an-hour double into deep center field. DJ came around on a scoring hour. Yankees took a one-nothing lead. And then Giancarlo Stanton later in that inning grounded out to second. That scored Judge. Two runs for the Yankees there. Fifth inning, LeMahieu and Rizzo got on base. Giancarlo Stanton, once again, a 118-mile-an-hour line drive into left field. That scored two runs, 4 nothing. And then Josh Donaldson, of all people, with an RBI double himself. 5 nothing Yankees after five innings. Yankees looked like they were in complete control of this game. One of the reasons was the dominance of, Jason, of Clark Schmidt. I was about to say Jason Dominguez. We'll get to him in a second. But Clark Schmidt today looked awesome. Five perfect innings for the Yankees for Clark Schmidt. Five innings. No runs, seven strikeouts, no hits, no walks on 50 pitches. Seven strikeouts, seven ground outs, one fly ball, 50 pitches, 36 strikes for Clark Schmidt. Looked amazing today. Again, at least from the stats, I, I wasn't able to tell you what he was able to do on the offensive side, but, you know, whatever. Um, Clark Schmidt, his average RPMs in this start, he was 28.53 for slider, 24.40 for sinker, 28.91 for his knuckle curb, 26.17 for his cover, which is about where he's been last year, maybe even a little bit better. Clark Schmidt, again, he, he came into this offseason, he came into the spring training looking to prove a point. The Yankees should put him on, you know, in the starting five. He will because of the injuries that have happened, but he deserves it anyway. An excellent, excellent spring training for Clark Schmidt here. I also want to give credit to Jason Dominguez. He's hitting 455 this spring. Sharp double to right field that he had in this game. He has a 1.565 OPS. Once again, I remind you to let the kids play. Unfortunately, the Pirates would overcome the Yankees here in this game. Nine runs scored on their half. One in the sixth, RBI double by Cruz. And then four in the seventh uh, off a home run by Maggie. And then two RBIs, um, Swaggerty and Bins. I don't have their names in front of me. And then in the eighth inning, uh, four more runs. An RBI single by Sini. An RBI double by Andujar. An RBI double by Bins. Nine runs for the Pirates. The Yankees did score a run in the eighth. But Pirates hold on to win here. Again, the story is going to be, on my side, is going to be how good Clark Schmidt looked and how good the Yankees should feel about him coming into opening day. Did get two hits from DJ, which was nice to see. Got a hit from Judge, hit from Stanton, hit from Donaldson, hit from Dominguez, and a hit from Peraza. So a lot of the big Yankee players um, getting on base today, which I was happy to see. But, yeah, another loss for the Yankees, 9-11 and 1. So not ideal, but whatever, it's spring training. Although they did just lose to a Pirates team that's only been, that's 4-12 and and 0-6 on the road. Could, you know, not what you want. Do want to apologize for yesterday. I uploaded yesterday's video before the Yankees uh, lost to the Phillies, and I uploaded it when I said the Yankees won, when actually they lost. My bad. My apologies. Uh, just pure laziness on my part. Uh, I can't promise that will never happen again. I know that's a really bad promise to make, but look, I, I, will, I can promise you that I will do better. I have to do better. And uh, sorry about that, guys. That was a bad job by me. That will not happen in the regular season. I promise you that. Just a bad moment there yesterday. So do want to apologize because you guys should expect better from me. So sorry for that yesterday. But hopefully today was a little bit better, even though I was not able to again bring you any highlights because, again, the game was not on television, which is damn stupid. But hopefully tomorrow's game will be on TV. I honestly have no idea at this point if it will be or not. But we will have a recap for you tomorrow. The Yankees will take on Detroit tomorrow. We will have a recap after that game. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, you like to see. Make sure you subscribe down below. I will see you guys tomorrow for Yankees Tigers. Take care and God bless.